Eight-year-old John plays in his neighborhood in the city of San Pablo, south of Manila, in the Philippines. He's staying with his aunt, his grandmother, and his great-grandmother. Everywhere he goes, he carries this photo of his mother and father, Christine and Jose. This is a big day. Because they are on the other side of the world. A charity called the Alliance for Paired Donation, founded by pioneering UT transplant surgeon Mike Reese, flew the pair to Toledo to demonstrate how a new concept in kidney donation could work. Never done this before? We've never done this before. This is the first time that uh, a person has, has undergone a reverse transplant tourism transplant where a poor person comes to the United States, gives an American a kidney, and in return, an American gives the poor person a kidney, and the savings from transplanting the American helps pay for the poor person's kidney transplant. Christine is about to donate one of her two healthy kidneys to replace Jose's failing kidneys. But he will not get hers. Instead, her willingness to pay it forward to another recipient is what could make this surgery affordable to others in their position. So Jose will receive a kidney from a donor in Georgia. Christine will donate her kidney to a recipient in Minnesota. A donor in Minnesota had offered a kidney to that recipient, but it wasn't a tissue match. So instead, that kidney will go on to another patient in Seattle, and on and on. The surgery could be affordable even for desperately poor patients like Jose, because American medical insurance companies want to save money. Over time, a U.S. patient on dialysis for kidney failure costs three times the expense of a kidney transplant. So insurance companies have shown interest in Dr. Reese's plan, paying for foreign couples to travel to the U.S. to donate. We are exporting American quality health care by importing patients to the United States. We are transforming our view of the developing world from a place where there are desperate people who are willing to sell their kidney to instead view the developing world as a place where there are desperate people who need a kidney transplant and have loved ones who are desperate to give them a kidney, but they have a barrier and that barrier is poverty. Christine's donation is first at 6 a.m. Her surgeon will be Sam Jane. Jose goes into surgery at 4 p.m. once the kidney flies in from Georgia. Dr. Reese wears a camera on his head to video the operation. The surgery lasts until 8.30 p.m. Nice to meet you. The next morning, Jose is given the chance to talk by phone with his donor in Georgia. Thank you. You give me light. Thank you. Oh, you're very, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. I'm glad I was able to do that. Back at an internet shop in San Pablo, I help connect John with his mom in Toledo. Christine shows off the scar from her donation surgery. Miss you, miss you, miss you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you, miss you. And an eight-year-old gets the best news ever. His mom and dad can come home healthy.